Hey YouTubers, uh, this is the Fishing Educator. Uh, I want to talk to you today about the thermocline and it's something I've been wanting to talk about a lot on one of my videos so I decided I think now's the time to do that. It's winter right now, it's January, it's 15 degrees outside so let's talk about the thermocline. It is the key to reservoir fishing. Uh, a lot of the lakes in the southeast, probably out west as well, will develop what's called a thermocline. Uh, this is again the key to all of the fishing that I do. Uh, I've alluded to this in other videos. Uh, remember a couple of things. First of all, speed and depth. Everything I'm fishing on and for, when I go out and I fish, I'm catching bass, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, walleye, catfish, uh, crappie, perch. Uh, I'm catching fish 50 feet down in 200 feet of water. And so as you're out fishing, it's important to remember your speed and your depth. There are certain places on a lake, you may find a lake that's huge and you're like, where do I start? Start fishing. Uh, mark your spots. There are spots on a lake that hold fish in the middle of the lake and there are other spots that don't hold fish. And I know that may sound really uh, basic, but if you mark your spots, you will know that there are concentrations of fish on certain parts of the lake as opposed to other others. You just need to get out and you need to get out and and fish and you'll find those spots. Uh, thermocline sets up, it's all about oxygen level in the water. And so what you have is you have turnover, uh, turnovers in lakes that happen. When uh, a lake turns over, uh, oxygen will either come to the top or it'll fall to the bottom. Let's talk about uh, springtime. And so springtime, you will have high levels of oxygen uh, kind, of, kind of throughout. Um, and so you can fish as deep as 70 feet uh, in the wintertime. As the water warms, uh, you will find a thermocline that sets up. And on your electronics, if you put your frequency up really high and you put your sensitivity up really high, you can actually see that thermocline. And what it is, is it's an area of water that actually uh, dictates where the fish can survive. Fish below the thermocline cannot survive. There's not enough oxygen that's there. Uh, Georgia Department of Natural Resources puts out a couple of uh, websites that they have that they're actually monitoring the oxygen levels and parts per million. And so as I'm going out and I'm fishing, I'm looking for that thermocline and make sure I'm not fishing anything deeper than that. Uh, I'll tell you uh, early spring, I can catch walleye in anywhere from the surface down to about 25 feet of water. They're very comfortable there. The temperature of the water is good. Oxygen level is good. As that summer builds and the water temperature builds, you will find a thermocline sets up. Uh, typ typically around here, thermoclines anywhere from, uh, say, around 25 to 30 to 50 feet deep. And so uh, I'm generally never fishing deeper than, than 50 feet. Um, first of all, I'm not marking fish there, so why would I want to be fishing below where I'm marking fish? But as that thermocline sets up, generally in the middle of summer, uh, you can fish anywhere from 25 to 35, 40 feet deep and keep all your lures in that zone. Uh, I will usually have my outside planter boards that will be a little shallower. They might be in that 15 to 20 uh, foot range. Uh, but if I'm not getting any hits, I will reel those in and I will set up something a little bit deeper. Um, so I might send a, a crankbait that goes down 25 feet and, and make sure that, that I'm hitting those target levels. So uh, I'm going to show you just real quickly uh, just a, a picture of what that looks like. Uh, and then, you know, as always, um, give it a try. But understand the thermocline, understand that the water stratifies, and that fish, when I'm fishing 200 feet of water, I'm not fishing 200 feet down um, uh, on these reservoirs. Um, the fish just, they're not there, and they can't survive down there. So that kind of simplifies things. People say, well, you're in 150 feet of water. How do you know where to fish? This is not complicated. Again, um, top 25 to 30 feet uh, in the spring, and as it gets further into the summer, uh, definitely in, the, uh, in that 25 to 50 foot range. So a couple things just to keep in mind, general rules of thumb, take a look at this and uh, uh, I'll explain a little bit more. All right, so here's a picture uh, courtesy of discovercatfishing.com. You can see a picture here of uh, a gentleman fishing. He's got his lines. Notice that his lines are in the actual thermocline themselves. If you'll notice down here in the dead zone, uh, that's a place where, again, very little oxygen or not enough oxygen for fish to survive is going to be down there. Oftentimes catfish and rainbow trout. It's a little cooler water down here. This is a typical summer setup, so I oftentimes will be fishing right below the thermocline. That will hold some fish. Again, it's based on where I'm marking fish. 
You'll notice in the thermocline is where most of the fish are. And that's where I'm fishing uh, in a typical um, summer months. This is uh, June, July, and August. This might be the 25-foot mark here. This would be the 50-foot mark. So all my lures are set at that particular level. Um, bait fish. You know, the key is why am I fishing open water? Well, the bait fish are out in open water. And you will mark schools after school after school after school. You will mark lots of fish. When you mark fish, mark those spots. Those are places that you need to hit as you're trolling. Uh, and then, of course, the top water here, this is going to be the warmer water. It does stratify. And so, you know, in this, in this winter time, um, you could fish really top 70 feet. Um, this thermocline actually, as the winter goes on, it'll actually drop a little bit. And so you could fish a little deeper in the wintertime. But I generally am not fishing in the wintertime too much. So uh, there's one picture. And then, of course, the other picture looks like this. And this is taken from a... Uh, just a, a snapshot from a fish locator. You'll see the water temperature is 84 degrees. You'll see, you know, school of bait here, school of bait here. But if you mark up your sensitivity, you will uh, see that this horizontal band is the thermocline. You can actually mark that on some of these high res um, fish locators that are out there hummingbird, Lawrence, whatever the case may be. So, again, you can always find that thermocline. Uh, by just bringing up your resolution and your sensitivity. So hopefully that helps. Hey, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Again, remember the thermocline uh, as you're out fishing in these deep reservoirs all over the southeast, west, and, uh, and midwest. Happy fishing and have a good day.